Hey guys, Entertainment KJ here. Just gonna do a review on uh, all, well, not a review, but a list of all my guns because last time I did this, I think I had about half the guns I do now. So to start it off, we've got the Well MBO5 sniper rifle. Um, pretty nice gun, no complaints. I've got the Swiss Arms uh, illuminated crosshair scope on it. Um, got the U2G bipod. You know, retractable. Um, just have one 30 round mag for it. Uh, nothing too spectacular on this thing, but it's by far the, my best sniper I've ever had. Then I've got a SEMA AK 47 um, Kalashnikov. It's no complaints on this. Got the plastic furniture, upper and lower. Um, Receivers are metal. I've got about 10 600 round mags for it, so no worries there on ammo. Uh, my first gun, and probably one of my favorites. Next, we have the GG Evike Special M16 uh, Special Edition. I've got the Leap, UTG Leapers red and green dot on there. It's got the retractable crane stock. Um, got some P mags for it. I've got one. This one's a 20 rounder. I've got two um, 75 rounders, and I've got about five high caps for it. And the only complaint on this gun is that the mag well is a little too big for the mags that I get. But other than that, awesome gun. Next, we have, this is my AGM M14, I've only got two mags for this, um, when I first bought it, it was a pretty good gun, this is before I got really hardcore into my airsoft, started going out to the, was just pretty much a noob, and uh, it was good, wow, for being a new but now I would not recommend buying it as you can see the bolt function catches the hop up wheel right above the mag got jammed and it was jammed when I bought it I've got tape up here because this always flies up this gun has been nothing but trouble so I do not recommend getting that the AGM M14 MP008 a no go this, I gotta throw stuff at you first. This is my SIG 550. It's a cyber gun. As you can see, the clip is kind of tricky to get into or get it into the magwell. Got the retractable folding stock, it's got the built in bipod. Um, this is about, I think this is my very first gun I had ever bought, in, you know, besides the Walmart Springer guns that aren't very good. It's my first high quality AEG I've ever bought. In. Awesome, awesome gun. Um, I mis was mistaken and used some Walmart BBs in it, jammed it, broke the air nozzle on it, and then when I had it fixed, the tech broke my hop up. So right now it shoots about 50 feet and just drops straight down. So once I replace that hop up and get it back to the original condition it was in, this thing was tearing people apart. It's got the 9.6 uh, stick battery in it and the rate of fire is amazing. The accuracy is amazing. Other than my personal mistakes in using this gun and uh, breaking that air nozzle and whatnot, uh, the only complaint I have are the mags see they only come in plastic they do not make metal mags at all uh, it took me about two hours just to find one website that carried the sig 550 mags and um, that's my only complaint is they're hard to find they were 30 bucks for one mag and it's plastic but it is a high cap uh, I do not believe they even make mid caps for the sig series so yeah, only complaint on this gun. 
Last, my Echo One X36K. This thing is a beast. Got the rail mounts on it. Got the top rail mount. Uh, I had my UTG scope that I had on the M16. It was on this. Um, amazing accuracy. It's got the side folding stock for a little CQB or if you're running through some bushes or whatever, you need to be close to your body. That's good. Um, once again, uh, plastic mags, but I do believe they make metal mags for this, but I only have one mag, seeing as I just bought this gun about a month ago. Haven't really had time to buy new mags. This one in my mag well, I've got the built-in tracer unit. Um, the hop-up's great. The rate of fire, I've got a, uh, what is it, a 11.1 lipo battery in it, and the rate of fire is amazing, and the accuracy does, is not affected by the rate of fire, so it's still amazingly accurate with that high of rate of fire. So, yeah, this is the Echo One X36K, one of my favorite guns that I own. So yeah, that's all of uh, Entertainment KJ's uh, guns. Uh, I will be doing some reviews on them, individual reviews, you know, specs, FPS, accuracy tests, and all that. And uh, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.